presents Unlocking the Magic. Each week as you enter this timeless land, one of these many worlds will open to you. Frontierland, Tomorrowland, Adventureland, Fantasyland, the happiest kingdom of them all. And now your hosts, Gavin and Patrick. Hello and welcome to Florida Eat Ticket, presented by Orlando Attractions Magazine. Patrick, what are you doing? I'm trying to find Liberty Square. Yeah? On what? That's Disneyland. I know. It's the blueprints for Disneyland. So I'm trying to find Liberty Square on it. Well, Disneyland has never had Liberty Square. That's only at the Magic Kingdom in Disney World. But there's a Haunted Mansion in Liberty Square. So there has to be one in Disneyland. Yeah. Well, Disneyland does have the Haunted Mansion, but they actually have that in New Orleans Square. So it's kind of the same thing, but it is different. It's a totally different theme, and you won't find Liberty Square at Disneyland. It's only in Disney World. Well, then I have to find Liberty Square in Magic Kingdom. Well, I'll take you there. How about both of us go there in the future? Let's go to 2016. You know what? 1776. That's more appropriate. Let's go explore 1776. Liberty Square. As you enter Liberty Square, you're entering the colonial era of America, and these buildings are all brick and very reminiscent of Williamsburg, Virginia. Now it's home to some of my favorite attractions, the first one being the Hall of Presidents. Let's go check it out. The Hall of Presidents opened up with the park in 1971. It's definitely changed throughout the years. Now this is a really good place to go in the summer months because when it's hot outside, it's dark and always air conditioned inside. Now you can actually see every president on stage. It's the only place in the world that you can do that and some of them even talk. That was so fun. Now, did you know that Blaine Gibson sculpted the first 43 presidents that you see here in the show? He's 90 years old, and he handed his tasks over to his protege, who sculpted President Obama under his supervision. Now, if you're looking for a snack after you get out of the Hall of Presidents, I'll let Patrick tell you about that. There are some great snack options here in Liberty Square. Now, once in Liberty Square, you have to try Sleepy Hollow refreshments. They have an unbelievable chocolate Nutella waffle. Look at this. This is my go-to place whenever I want something small. Well, maybe not small, but something that's light. It has fruit, right? Refreshing. But anyway, so I'm going to finish this. And you know what? I can't wait to try it. That is so good. I can literally ring the Liberty Bell and declare this day Waffle Day. Wait a minute. Speaking of Liberty Bell, let's head over there. Did you know for our country's 200th birthday, Pennsylvania replicated 50 different Liberty Bells and gave them to all 50 states? But this is where the cool part is. Now, since Pennsylvania already had the original Liberty Bell in their state, and Walt Disney World was opening and they knew they were gonna have Liberty Square, they said, can we, they asked Pennsylvania, can we please have that replica so we can put it in our parks? And of course, Pennsylvania said, sure, why not? So that's how it premiered here in Walt Disney World in Liberty Square, July 4th, 1989. Also, did you know that Florida now holds the only two replica version of the Liberty Bell? Speaking 
Speaking of bells, now I love Christmas bells. And if you're here in the summertime, you gotta get your Disney Christmas merchandise, then you come to the Ye Olde Christmas Shop, and it's full of cool stuff. We'll take a look at that. Now there's also a parasol cart. That's really cool. Now don't get parasols confused with umbrellas. They are different. And they have customized, designed uh, parasols here that are made by hand every day in the park. And across the street from that, you have the Liberty Square Art Gallery, which is really cool. So you can get some portraits done and caricatures, things like that. But uh, let's head inside and take a look at what they got. this. Now this is a fun fact. The Hatbox Ghost here is actually only found in the Disneyland version of the Haunted Mansion. That's so cool. I really want this. Now there are some merchandise locations around Walt Disney World that will actually personalize your Christmas ornament so you can put your family's name on it and the year. tradition with my family is to get a silhouette done here in the Magic Kingdom. All of us have one, me and my siblings. Now Sleepy Hollow is great for snacks, but if you're looking for something full service lunch or dinner, then the Liberty Tree Tavern has it for you. Now it's a family style and it is uh, kind of like a New England fair, but it has something for everyone's appetite. If you're looking for something quick and on the go, you have the Liberty uh, Marketplace and you also have for quick service, you have the Harbor House. And that is my favorite place because they have seafood. So I think I'm going to go to Harbor House for lunch today. Like I said, Harbor House is one of my favorite quick service locations. Let's go inside, warm up, and get some food. So my favorite thing to get here is the fish and chicken platter with french fries and apple slices. But I love their french fries, they're really good here. me is the Liberty Tree. Now you'll notice that there are 13 lanterns in it and the 13 lanterns represent the 13 original colonies. Now it weighs 38 tons so it is the largest tree here in the Magic Kingdom Park. Did you know if you find the window in the house located next to the door with the number 26 on it you will see two lanterns that represent Paul Revere's warning that the British were arriving by sea. If you look in the center of the street, you'll see some irregular brown paving concrete. This represents the sewage that would run down the center of the streets in the days before sewer systems. You just gotta love that Disney detail. If you're looking for something to do that's nice and calm and relaxing outside on a beautiful day like this, then you gotta check out the Liberty Bell Riverboat. The Liberty Bell is an authentic replication of an actual old paddle steamboat. Now this offers you scenic views of Liberty Square, Frontierland, and also Tom Sawyer Island. It holds 450 people and it's a really nice thing to do when it's really busy in the park because the crowds here are not that bad. It's beautiful. Come on. <music> A lot of people want to know, is it on a track or is someone actually piloting this thing? But it's actually on a track that is hidden deep in the murky water.
love this. This is so fun. I almost want to go around one more time. But Patrick's about to meet Princess Tiana, so I think we should go catch up with him. Can I just say that I am so excited to see you both perform on this castle stage this summer? We are very excited. I feel very honored. We've been right working now. on our dancing a lot, you know. Oh, really? And I think she's there. Now. She you was don't almost there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pass half a dance when I was younger, so. That is very true. <laughs> When the beans really good at dancing, and she's good at cooking. So she's, she's oh, we are a good team. Perfect. <laughs> it's a very good team. <laughs> now you must be a dancer, also. Do you dance? Uh, I can move well. You can move I well. I can move well. We'll stop I by the restaurant. Be modest right now. <laughs> <laughs> a very good dancer. <laughs> stop by the restaurant. We have the band, and we dance every Friday. Oh, are perfect. Come down to that. Perfect. Party. I will be there. <laughs> I will be there. So I'm just gonna go on the haunted mansion. But do you have any advice for someone that's terrified to go on it? Now you see, I personally don't go to the Haunted Mansion because I know there are shadows there and I don't know if they're Dr. Facilier shadows, but I suppose it'd be alright. <laughs> they're not as scary right. as the ones in Louisiana, you know, it's a lot more silly. Okay, perfect. <laughs> but perfect. you know, something jumps at you, just cover your eyes. Okay, let's okay. cover my eyes. Everything cover my eyes. King. I can do it. <laughs> Great. Perfect. I got my advice from Tiana and Naveen. I am ready to conquer the Haunted Mansion. Let's go. Now before I brave the Haunted Mansion, I think it's time to go into Memento Mori, the only store where it's all Haunted Mansion, which happens to be my all-time favorite Disney ride. Let's go shopping. Alright, so I've got to brave this. Um, even though this is my favorite attraction, it still scares me. I may be turning 30 this year, but you know what? I will admit, I am scared of this ride. I think it's just like the dark spots. I mean, who else? Come on. If, you, if this scares you too, comment down below. But side note, so this actually is the same model as the one at Disneyland. Even though the houses are different, that's a plantation house over in California, and this one's a little more towards for Liberty Square. But let me tell you what, <sighs> I don't want to do it. Okay, I do, I do. The reality is I really want to go on it. Let's go. All right, guys, that was so much fun, but of course I was scared just a little bit. But what you cannot miss, when you look to your left, when you exit Pet Cemetery, can't miss that. Because you might find a familiar face of an attraction that closed in Fantasyland a while back.
wow, I cannot believe there's so much to do in such a small land. There sure is. And you know what? The food is fantastic. And let's not forget, it's very educational. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of education, if you want to be educated and up to date on everything that's happening in the Orlando area, make sure you subscribe to Orlando Attractions Magazine. And again, our future selves told us to tell you to follow us on something called a Twitter and a book that is face and a, a gram that is Insta, such as an Instagram. No idea. At Florida E-Ticket. And as always, make sure that you get out. Have fun. And, and enjoy, enjoy Florida. Florida.